Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about solving systems of equations by substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here minus 3x minus 4y equals 2, and 3x plus 3y equals a negative 3. And we want to solve this system by substitution. Well, my goal is to try to get a variable by itself. And nothing really jumps out right away. But the second equation has three going in all parts. So I think it'll be easy to get a variable by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get x by itself here. So I'm going to subtract a 3y to both sides. That gives us here 3x equals a negative 3y minus 3. So subtract a 3y to both sides. I then can divide both sides by 3, and now x is by itself. Negative 3 divided by 3 is a negative 1, so we have a negative y here. And negative 3 divided by negative 3 is a negative 1 there. All right, so where do we go from here? Well, we take that information, and we're going to plug that x value, negative y minus 1, into the x value of our other equation, the first one. So negative 3 times, instead of x here, I'm putting a minus y minus 1. Then we subtract 4y, and that equals 2. So at this point, we're solving for y. Distribute the minus 3 to both parts. Minus 3 times y is a positive 3y. Minus 3 times a minus 1 is a positive 3. And then minus 4y here equals 2. From there, 3y, uh, sorry, we subtract 3 to both sides. Excuse me. Let's get our like terms together. 2 minus 3 here is a negative 1. And 3y minus 4y is a negative y, or negative 1y. Divide both sides by negative 1, and y equals negative 1 divided by negative 1, which is a positive 1. All right. With that information, we have to plug it back into one of our other, uh, one of the first two equations to solve for x. Try to pick the easier one. Both are about the same. I'm just going to pick the second one here. So 3x here plus 3 instead of y, I'm putting a positive 1, equals a negative 3. 3x plus 3 times 1 is 3, equals negative 3. Subtract 3 to both sides. 3x is by itself here, and negative 3 minus 3 is a negative 6. Divide both sides by 3, and x equals a minus 2. So x is minus 2, or negative 2, y is a positive 1, and that is our final answer. I hope you learned something here, and if you did, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com